Shalom people, this is Brother Laz coming at you with another video. And I seen in the news the other day that um, the U.S. had a meeting with the uh, Taliban about them providing aid for the, the Afghani people in that country because they know that the Taliban is not going to be able to uh at least right now let's say because there's other muslim countries that want to come in and help the taliban to properly run afghanistan but until that time i guess the aid that america had been supplying to afghanistan when the u.s military was there they want to continue to supply aid to them to keep the people from starving and all the other stuff that goes with that you know which again like i said um they can they they'll help everybody else out but us here in america but let's move on with the story okay so what 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 do i think about this what's the true reason that they're going to continue aid to the taliban for the Afghani people. I think that they're doing this because uh, we know that while the Taliban was uh, on the run in uh, Afghanistan, when the US military was there, that uh, the opium uh, cultivation uh, started booming again. And because when the Taliban had first came into power in the uh, late uh, 1980s, early 1990s, they were trying to get rid of the um, opium trade. And I think <laughs> that's probably another reason why America intervened because the world supply of opium from which they get a lot of derivatives like morphine and, and heroin and all these other things it comes mostly from Afghanistan and so um, I think because a lot of opium for the world is still being cultivated in Afghanistan that they, they said the Taliban is pretty much not gonna mess with the opium trade because the Hammurabi network which was also a another terrorist group that America was fighting uh, against in Afghanistan who they said proved to be more deadlier than the um, the Taliban because they were they run they they ran the, the opium routes they was running it into Pakistan and into Iran so they had uh, a lot of money right that they were using to buy weapons and plant bombs and all this stuff because you know America was supposedly trying to stop the heroin from leaving Afghanistan and coming in into Mexico and then coming into the U.S. to stop the, the heroin uh, the heroin epidemic that's in America, which I don't think they were trying hard. Uh, I think that they still, the, the pharmaceutical companies, which probably get uh, a, you know, access to a lot of this, this heroin they use in the making of their drugs, I think that they probably on the side secretly cut a deal with the Taliban to continue the shipments of heroin to throughout the West because the West, they're addicted to this heroin stuff. And they're addicted to it. And the drug companies need it. I think that they cut a deal with them that they, they, they'll continue to let it flow into the, the, the West. Only, the, you know, America have a little bit more control over it and the trade office that they'll give them that aid. And I believe that's what's, what's happening. B because the, the, right now, the Taliban's hands is kind of tied because the, the thing is, the, 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 the powers that be the elite powers around the world, they, you know, they, they through Satan, control what's going on. So if they had really wanted to crush the Taliban and not let them come back into power. That could have happened. But like I said, these 
elite are not by wins and losses of battles. It's of the agenda that the devil puts out for them to do. As long as they do what the devil tells them to do, when it comes, even though it might not make any sense to them, they'll they'll stay in power, they'll stay rich, they'll stay un, unstoppable, and the devil say, okay, well, uh, this is what I want done. The, I, I've got to crush, I've got to bring Islam down a notch. So I gotta let the Taliban and them get back into power to show how brutal Islam is so I can bring it down a notch. Because you understand that the devil in the end, Albert Pike them said that he wants to introduce the world again to worship of of him of himself, Lucifer, Luciferianism. So he can't have no competitions against any of the other religions that he created. He got to bring them down because he he wants to be the visible God of this world when the final incarnation of the Antichrist will try to come out. Now remember what I stated several videos ago. Uh, this thing is not a perfect science to them. And and all they can do is react to what Yah is doing. They can't stop the plan of Yah. They try to react to it and to try to so but even with that, the devil has to get permission from the most high Yah to do anything. So even if they try Whatever they do is ultimately going to bring about the plan of the Most High anyway. So the devil, it's a lose-lose. But the devil thinks it's a win for him. You know, in his crazed mind, he still thinks it's a win. But it's still a lose-lose for him. Because whatever he reacts to to do for, for Yah, against Yah, it doesn't have no effect. But I think, you know, they got all these different terrorist groups now that the the Taliban are supposedly fighting against in Afghanistan, who's also trying to overthrow them and take control of Afghanistan. And I think, I, 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 I just think it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna end bad for Islam, which right it should. Islam has done great damage to our people. Not only the fact that it, 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 it tries, it tried to usurp the, the true. Uh, Elohim of Israel with a with a false one called Allah, and 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 which I think it's it's probably is 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 many of our people maybe a little more of our people that's caught up in Islam than in, even in this Eurocentric Christianity. So neither one of them has done anything good for us, right? And so I think that you know it'll it'll probably bring it down. It'll show the hypocrisy because they've already showed the hypocrisy of the uh, uh, the prime minister of Pakistan that when they opened up that Pandora Papers or whatever they show where he has uh, you know hidden bank accounts and offshore companies and all this stuff and he's supposed to be you know a, a, you know true blue you know Muslim and fighting against corruption and they're just as corrupt. They're going to show how corrupt the Taliban is by getting money off of heroin. They're going to show all of this. And, and then you, what you're going to have, you're going to have, you're going to have this, these, these situations where, like I said, when you see these women walking around on the beach with burkas on or whatever, while the men walk around with their chest out and they got belly dancers and all this other kind of crazy stuff, raping children. They're going to, they're going to show the hypocrisy of the false religion called Islam and, and, and bring it down a notch, just like Christianity. The Bible said that the woman shall be burnt with fire because the, the, the beast won't need her anymore. Satan doesn't, doesn't need these false religions no more. He don't need them no more. He's getting ready to reveal himself. He got to hurry up. He's got to do his work because he know the Most High Yah, Son, Yeshua is coming. So he's had to do a quick work. He's trying. He's trying his best, but remember, he's not the equal to the most high. And so, again, this, you know, America is still the military arm of the New World Order. They're going to do what they're going to do. So that's not getting the tizzy of it when the most high sends his son back to rule with a rod of iron.
the stump of what's left of America is going to be dried up. So with that, and that's going to be a message for another day. Uh, with that, I ask you to give this video a thumbs up. I ask you to share it, leave a comment, and subscribe. Be blessed.